In the upper 70s this afternoon, dry conditions. We've got some great weather for the next couple of days. Look at that, upper 70s to low 80s. It's close to the average. And then uh, we'll, we'll cool it down over the weekend because we're going to have quite a bit of rain coming in over the weekend. But right now, we are dry. The dew points are in the 50s, and they'll stay in the 50s for the next three days. And then humidity starts going up Friday into Saturday. So uh, more on that in just a moment. Let's enjoy the nice weather, though. we got high pressure building in, mild dry conditions, <clears throat> cold front way off to the east of us. So there's no rain out there at the moment. Uh, morning commute should be fine. Super Doppler 10 looks good. And Future Track looks good, too. We've got lots of sunshine throughout the morning and the midday. Going into the afternoon, lots of sunshine. I think the winds will be mainly out of the northwest. Models saying mostly out of the north, but either way, it's going to be a light wind. And, uh, yeah, plenty of sunshine up through 6 o'clock. Now, we go past that point. We'll have mostly clear skies tonight. Maybe a little thin clouds coming in. Same thing for tomorrow. Maybe some thin clouds at times, but overall we're going to have a lot of sunshine and it's going to be another good looking day. We'll have winds light and out of the north. Notice those winds start to change then late Wednesday. Uh, I think we'll start to get the winds more out of the south going into Thursday. So let's go through time Wednesday into the weekend and talk about this area low pressure that might form along the coast. Uh, again, stay in dry Wednesday, Thursday mostly dry. Friday, well, we get a few showers in here later in the day. Some scattered showers at least. GFS model is a little wetter by that time already, uh, but the European model brings up a lot of moisture. The thing is, this model has the low staying to our south. It's just got a lot of moisture running up this way into Saturday. So uh, we get some breeziness, but the GFS model brings that low right up into our laps. So uh, we'll see which one's right. We'll have some time yet to sort that out. But either way, the effect is we get a lot of rain possibly on Saturday. So today, upper 70s in Virginia Beach, Norfolk, and Portsmouth, 81 in Chesapeake and Elizabeth City, and Hertford, and 81 in Franklin, but upper 70s over the Outer Banks. We'll be in the upper 70s, mid to upper 70s in Melpha and Hampton, 78 Gloucester, 78 Newport News, and 82 in Williamsburg. Any boaters out there today? Winds northwest 5 to 10 knots, seas 3 to 4 feet, bays 1 to 2 feet. Hurricane Nigel, staying out to sea. It's uh, over the middle of the Atlantic. It's going to even miss Bermuda. It'll hook to the northeast and even miss the Azores Islands. So that's good. Uh, there's Iceland, Reykjavik. Uh, maybe they'll get it, uh, just an area of low pressure by that time. Uh, so is there anything else? Yeah, there's another disturbance over in the eastern Atlantic. Could form next couple of days. Moves off to the west. We'll be tracking it. We'll follow it. Remember that low that I just showed you a little bit ago? Well, it's got a low chance that it could become tropical. So uh, we'll be on the lookout for that. Or maybe even subtropical. So we'll be on the lookout for that. And we'll bring in the latest on it. So in the meantime, today we've got upper 70s, mostly sunny, 81 tomorrow, lots of sun, and then 79 on Thursday, mostly sunny skies. But Friday into Saturday, we got a lot of rain coming in, especially Saturday. The breeze picks up. That's the first day of fall, by the way. And then uh, Sunday, some scattered showers. If that low lingers, um, maybe I could take the chances up or down on some of these days. But right now, the theme is that we got some pretty wet weather late Friday, Friday night into Saturday. That's